Well, it looks like you escaped the fate of being hammered by your horrible hen. Yes, I still haven't escaped the worst darkness of this terrible night. I shot you, didn't I? There must have been some sort of complicated set of circumstances that made you do it. Heck is this beeping forward? It's never okay to shoot a person, no matter what the circumstances. Well, self-defense, maybe. Hey, shouldn't that be my line? But anyway, you're investigating the case, and I was supposed to give you information on the case. Maybe it's time you told me about it. Tell me about the case you're looking into. Yes, I guess I should. Let's go back to the present. Yeah, maybe you work for it. I'm trying to avoid the whole thing. Alright, sure. Back in the new present, the delicious aroma of chicken fills the air. I'm still thinking about Lynn. I wonder if she's still waiting for chicken to be served. I decided to go see her. See her and ask her the questions that were still consuming me. Let's do it. Giggity, 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 giggity. Each E. It's on. Go back a few. Head outside. The disastrous accident has been completely erased. Once again, I've saved the redhead detective from death. Save Lynn, criminal, stole my life. One question in particular hangs heavy on my mind. Why'd she shoot me? Until I know the answer, I'll never be satisfied. And she is packing it away. Meanwhile, Lynn's appetite is apparently foremost in her mind. A golden brown chicken sits on the table in front of her. Soon we bones. <laughs> Until she eats the whole thing, she'll probably never be satisfied. Did the detective know to stake out of this restaurant tonight? I better see if I can get some information. But more importantly, I have lots of questions for that lady detective. Let's go. That's one, that's two, that's four. Can't read. Detective Ranch. Come to see me, did you? Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, I have memory. Don't mind us. Just pretend we're not here. Why don't you try some chicken while you're here? Oh, thanks. Just watching Lynn eat is quite enough for me. So, how'd it turn out with my ladybug? Oh, that listening device? Well, let's see. I thought the gentleman had a very nice singing voice. Sorry, but we're in the middle of important talk. Could you leave us to it? No, stay right there! Huh? 
I'm at the crucial moment with this chicken here. I'll need you to pour me some water if it starts going down wrong. Maybe you should slow down your eating. Lynn, you don't have to risk your life over chicken, you know. She's right. Okay, I said it wrong. He's right. Sheesh. Anyway, I better move now while I have the chance. Time to trick it. S. S. Hmm? That's funny. Even though I just saved the detective, he doesn't have a core. Not like the one Lynn has, or that valiant little doggy missile! <laughs> I thought uh, the ones that I save are supposed to have a of a core. When I are alive again. I guess I'll still have things to learn about the powers of the dead. Okay, yes, yes. Well, I'm heading back. Lots of things to do, you know. Yeah, like washing dishes and planting bugs. Someday I'm, I'll plan a big one on you, detective. You are flirty. Oh, the girl. I agree. Me too. Listen, Lynn. You explained your side. I understand, but there's an APB out on you. Can't you at least hurry up and get out of here? You know, subway quietly. No can do. I'm meeting someone here. Meeting somebody? Oh yeah, that's right. The little lady, Mila. Well, why do you have to meet somebody here? Special Investigation Unit is watching this restaurant. Now how can that be a coincidence? I don't know, but it is a coincidence. Hey, is it true what they say? That you're still looking into the Detective Joe's case on your own? Inspector Campanella is worried about you, you know. I understand how you feel, but just don't do anything crazy, okay? Okay, let's do this again. S, S, X. Trick! So how's that chicken you've been waiting so long for? It's great! But you know, the Detective Ringe, that's his name. By the way, sitting right across from me. I mean, he was just dead a few months ago, right? That's the kind of taking the edge off my appetite. Oh, brother. But he's a great guy. He understands my situation. He said he's going to give me a pass just for tonight. Speaking of Detective Wrench, I noticed something strange. He doesn't have a core now doesn't? I thought a core was supposed to show up once I saved somebody. Hmm. I wonder if... When you possessed this corpse, he was unconscious, right? Unconscious? Yeah, he was, wasn't he? Just like you, you were unconscious for the first time I saved you too. And after I saved you, you didn't have a core either. So, for people who are unconscious when you save them, no core shows up. I think that's probably what it is. You might be right. Okay, I'll live range up to you then. I still got lots of questions for you. Yeah, I thought you would. Let's get started then. Death Mo Minmi, Jode. What is your connection to Prisoner D99, Detective Jode? He 
seems like more than just a power. Yes, I suppose you have the right to know. Jetra Jode is my hero. Hero, huh? You don't hear that word much anymore. Well, it's an old-fashioned hero kind of story. It happened ten years ago. Now just calm down and drop that weapon. S stay back! If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. On that day, ten years ago, I was playing in my favorite park. And then, suddenly, someone grabbed my arm from behind. I was so scared. I thought I was going to die. And then... He appeared. Detective Joe. And then that really loud sound. I think it was the sound of a gun. I passed out. When I came to... You're all right now. Are you hurt? You saved me, mister. I was just doing my job. Gods, they're the ones who saved you. It's your job, mister. Me? I'm a police detective. So that's why you became a detective, huh? That's right. He was my ideal of what a detective was all about. But an ideal detective doesn't shoot and kill his own wife. Exactly. Huh? And that's why I want to prove that he didn't. I think I skipped something. Next. Detective Range works for the Special Investigation Unit. He said an important deal is set to go down here tonight at this restaurant. A deal that could affect the future of our nation. A nation is something that's easily influenced, though. And that's what he said, anyway. It's that couple at this table upstairs. I hear the foreigners. They're waiting for the other party in this deal to show up now. Those two, huh? They certainly are an odd player. 